Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. This is our first video for 2024 and we're off to the St. Mary's of Angels Basilica. The St. Mary of Angels Basilica, formerly St. Mary's Church, is a basilica located in Yarra Street, Geelong, Victoria, Australia and is 74 kilometres or 46 miles southwest from the state capital, Melbourne. Since the completion of the Gothic Revival Bluestone Building in 1937, St. Mary of the Angels has had the tallest bluestone spire in Australia at 150 feet or 46 metres and has the fourth tallest non-cathedral spire in Australia. In 2004, it became Australia's fifth basilica after gaining Vatican approval for the change of description. It is the tallest building in Geelong with a total height of 210 feet or 64 metres from the pavement and is the major landmark for the city of Geelong. The first St Mary's Church was a small wooden chapel in Yarra Street opened on the 27th of November 1842. The congregation quickly outgrew the chapel and a stone replacement was constructed in 1846. The optimism the Victorian Gold Rush brought to Geelong led to plans for a cathedral-like landmark church for the city. The architects were Dowden and Ross and the foundation stone was laid in 1854. However, as Geelong's boom slowed, work ceased two years later, leaving Geelong with an incomplete landmark for over a decade. Construction was revived in 1871 with Archdeacon R.S. Downing, contracted architect T.A. Kelly and builder Clement Nash to continue works, which ceased in 1872 with the bulk of the nave completed. Work on the remainder of the church, the front tower crowns, the transepts, the crossing and the spire and the apsidal chapels did not begin until 1930. The completion was based on the original design and the supervising architects being Hennessy and Hennessy of Sydney and the builder a WJ Kelly of Geelong. The completion of the church was celebrated in June 1937. So without further ado we'll check out the sights and sounds of St Mary of the Angels Basilica and as per usual all the credits references for the making of this uh, video will be in the description below. Now just a quick note and as per usual and on this occasion the wind wasn't too bad so I was able to get the drone up and I believe we got some spectacular footage of this unbelievably beautiful church.
So here we are nearing the end of this presentation or video and I hope everyone had a great Christmas and a great New Year. Uh, if you did like this video by all means click on that like button or that thumbs up icon. Please consider subscribing. Subscribing doesn't cost you one cent. But most importantly stay safe, commute safe and have a great day.